Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to go over Injustice 2 and Injustice 1. I'm going to keep comparing them. So let's start with Injustice Gods Among Us by saying that the attacks are pretty simple. All you have to do is swipe for the heavy attacks and tap for the softer attacks. Now the softer attacks are quicker but they deal less damage. But the um, other attacks are, you know, are pretty simple. Anyway, but even so, the attacks are pretty easy. I like the fact that it's more simplified than complicated, if that makes sense. Whereas with Injustice 2, well, let's just head over there now. So, the gameplay style on this game just makes me feel kind of a bit, uh, you know, you could go forward, you could go back a lot more quicker than you can in Injustice 2. But to be very honest, I don't know if I actually like that. Okay, we're reversing two of these guys. Um, now, I won't lie, the only good thing I could say about these kinds of battles that you can actually do is the fact that you don't actually need to use any energy or any power and stuff. But that's probably the only good thing I could say about these battles. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's probably a lot more cool stuff about this game. But I'd have to say, I have to say this, I just don't think... My god, how many of these guys am I going to have to take on? Anyway, um, oh, let's watch. Oh, man. Now, another good thing I kind of like about these battles is that they, when they come in, they have, like, a kind of ability. But I guess the Justice Gods Among Us sort of, sort of has that same thing, too. Like, of Luther or Bane or whatever. Luther or Bane has, uh, like, a stun effect, and you can easily get some good attacks on it. But with this, it it's only really just a tiny bit of damage it's not like a ton now i think it's time we move on to the characters now like the packs and stuff let's move on to that and we'll go start off on, on justice 2 we finally made it to here and that's another thing i want to say the uh prices of all these things are kind of outrageous but the only good pack i could say that you should probably think about keeping on getting is probably the hero's chest it's just not it's just that oh, this pack is the only one that actually has a chance for a gold hero. It doesn't say that you get the shards for a hero. It just says you have to get a hero that is gold or silver that has a chance. That's probably the only good one. All these other ones, they're not very good because you have just to get shards. You don't have anything else. Now, I won't lie. I haven't got all the characters. Okay, that's one thing I already know. We're not I haven't got any of the characters. That's just that. Now I have been working a bit on the Green Lantern, but you know that's that that's enough about that. We don't need to go over this. Um But yeah, the character packs that you have here in this game, I'd have to rate a solid good four out of ten. Not too good in my opinion, because all these other packs have shards versus the only good one. Which is this hero chest, which has a chance to get a gold character. But who knows, they might even be shards too. And if that's the case, they'll, it would probably be even lower so far. So, so far, we have Injustice 2 for Injustice Gods Among Us. Well, let's go to that game right now and we'll go over the packs and stuff that you can buy there. Okay, so for this to be a bit easier, I'm not going to go over the um, paid for packs. I'm just going to go over the ones that you can earn in the game. So let's start off with the power credits, which honestly, in my opinion, is the best one to try and get. Now, getting these gold booster pack right here is not necessarily a hard thing. You just got to know what to do. Um, The packs... They're not necessarily too hard to try and grind for. Like, for example, if you combine survivor mode, uh, challenge mode, online mode, and this battle mode right about over here, this mode, you can get all the, you can get all the power you need, all the coins you need from four thousand per thing. Now, I think the first time you do this on the last battle you get a huge bonus. So if you take advantage of that, that'd be pretty good. I also think you get a new character too. I think it's Wonder Woman Machine. Pretty much gone over the packs. I feel like we should go over the characters. Yeah, let's go over the ca characters. So as you can see, in Injustice Gods Among Us, I have a lot of characters. It wasn't necessarily hard to get them, but some of them were, let's just say, a bit more time consuming than others. For example, I probably would say the longest one it took me to get to try and get, well, for that, it would have to be Superman Injustice 2. That took me the longest time. 
because I had to do Phantom Zone to get that character. It's the only way I could get that character anyway. Now, that's not the only thing that I think is good about these characters. The good thing about some of these characters is on Tagon, some of these abilities um, take a bit straight away. For example, Justice 2 has a no damage buff for the first special attack, and this is on Tagon. So if you keep tagging him in, he won't exactly take that long to get like as a working shield and uh, other characters such as Lex Luthor Insurgency so that for, exa so that for example um, this one has an effect that goes throughout the whole game same thing with the flash machine but this one has increased health for the teammates so that's that's uh, good but the point I'm trying to deliver across here is that some effects take part throughout the whole game some of them just for like the first one or the second one maybe even for all of them so like yeah i'd say i like the characters on injustice gods among us but to be fair this game has had more updates than injustice 2 probably so um let's move on to the next category let's go over injustice 2 characters now um now i can't really say i have a lot of characters i honestly don't have hardly anything but i'm also show you guys what i have right now it's just do this considering I'm not going to even do the battle anyway so as you can see here I've got all these good characters now I think my favorite characters so far of the bunch would have to be Harley Quinn Batman and Black Canary say what you want about them but I think they're really good characters anyway um I, as you can clearly see I don't have all the characters because getting those shards is just a task in itself I don't like the fact that they got us to do to try and get shards to unlock characters now sure it might save you having to pay for it but to be very honest to be very honest with you i think paying for i think paying for the shards is probably better like for example there's hero shards i mean paying for it and pink crystals here that's why i think yeah sure go go for it if you have if you could get the character man i give you a salute there but it is not easy to get those shards um, on a daily basis you can probably only get like 35 so you only get 35 shards per thing, which is really not that much. I will not lie, not much at all. And I just don't think it's worth it. What I think they should do in this game is make it so they have like a specific price tag on the character of the shard. Like, say you got want to get like a specific character, say, well, Green Lantern Emerald. Say you want to get that character, right? They should make it so like you have to have a choice on like how much you want to pay for this is probably the only time you're going to see on my phone but i want to showcase this in another way i want to show you guys how long it takes compared between the two games so let's start with injustice 2 i'm going to show you how long it takes to completely get this game up Now, that might have seemed like it didn't take too long, but I felt like it could definitely have gone a bit quicker. Let's move on to Injustice Gods Among Us and see how long that takes. Now, after the screen, you should be able to tap it and there I felt like that was a little bit more quicker so when you're doing like the say the challenge mode the online battle mode or the even the survival mode when you're first starting in this game it's locked you can't do anything about that you need to get a specific level on one of your characters now that's not hard whatsoever it's actually pretty easy to get that kind of level straight off the bat but with injustice 2 it evolves something a bit different with injustice 2 you need to have account level up personally 
That is the worst idea everyone could have ever gotten. They should have just made it so one of your characters could get you to the thing like they did in Injustice Gods Among Us. They should not have done account level. That is absolutely shocking to me. I feel like they could have done a way better job of that instead. They should have just made it so one of your characters get to that level, you have access to it full time. Now, if there was a way to rank up your character a bit easier, say for example if you are on rank 12 and you want to get to rank 20 real quick, they should make it so you have to pay like a certain kind of currency in the game. Now it doesn't necessarily have to be coins or gems they could have made like a whole new currency system to try and get you more levels more quickly because so far there's absolutely no possible way to get your levels up quickly sure you could argue that you could do these challenge modes right here um but that's only a temporary solution it's not a permanent solution i feel like if they want to do something about this if they want to make maybe this game a little bit more better and and this is only in my opinion they should make some sort of currency that you can get your levels up in a different way the levels on injustice gods among us is a bit different to this one and i personally prefer the injustice ones when you want to unlock something you just have to unlock one character and then that's it you don't have to unlock like 30 levels on this it's just not right it needs to be a change to that but anyway guys i think that's my little bit of a rant going on about this particular game if i have to say between the two which game i like the most would have to be a justice gods among us there's no doubt about it i like a justice gods among us more than i like the justice 2 okay i don't hate injustice 2 i don't i didn't say i don't like it i just prefer injustice gods among us but anyway that's gonna do it for this video if you want to see another video leave a like subscribe and we'll see you in the next one good boy